module 21 gaussian log normal binomial and poisson distributions section 2 discrete probability distributions binomial and poisson distributions binomial distribution the binomial distribution gives the discrete probabilities of obtaining the exactly x successes out of the bernoulli trials where the result uh, of each trial is uh, you know is true the probability and false with the the possibility the probability it will be given you know the exact probability will be calculated by the binomial distribution so this is only for the binomial uh, that is actually only two outcomes possible so that is uh, you know uh, for example true or false so that kind of situations a binomial uh, distribution is very useful especially for the proportions in biology follows this binomial distribution and this is a discrete a uh, probability distribution as so, as you can see that on the the picture so these are the the bell diagram is for the gaussian distribution while for the binomial distribution it is actually uh, number the counts so it it just follows the discrete so to highlight the discreteness you can see that the, uh, the there is actually the bar diagram in it you know so it's a very important distribution in biology example proportions in the population so confidence interval of binomial distribution can be calculated uh, uh, using the formula you know that uh, i have already told you about in uh, module number 11 section number 2 the modified waltz method can be used for it and uh, you can just review the method once again so what is this bernoulli trials in the case of binomial distribution so the fixed number of trials needs to be done so the number of trials should be fixed you know and trials should be independent as well so there should not be any relation between the first trial and the second trial if they are dependent then you cannot call it as a binomial trial so each trial outcome should be two the two ways of the outcome like head and tail or male and female or case and control you know or living versus dead so those kind of situations the bernoulli uh, these are known as bernoulli trials so the that is uh, you know gen generally you can call it as success and failures probability should remain constant for each trial so if the probability is uh, changing you know then uh, that is not called as a bernoulli trial so it has to be constant just like the coin flip so if you say if you think of this uh, binomial distribution you can think about a coin you know flipping coin flipping person so that is what the the binomial distribution is all about the equation for the binomial equation or uh, binomial uh, uh, probability the equation or also known as binomial equation is very simple it is uh, p of x the probability of finding an x is equal to nc x or ncr ncr is nothing but a combination equation multiplied by p power x q power n minus x so that is uh, the equation for it p is the probability of success in one trial q is 1 minus p that is probability of failure in one trial n is the total number of trials and x is the total number of successes in n trial so that is what we have seen this equation when we discussed about the binomial test uh, in the uh, in the last module so it's the same equation that we use it here as well so one approximation is the mu is equal to n multiplied by p the uh, you know that that is what uh, np that is one approximation another approximation is that sigma the population standard deviation can be calculated if you know n p and q you know so uh, p is nothing but a probability of success in one trial so multiplied by how many trials that you are making then that is basically the average that you are going to get so that is mu is equal to np while sigma is equal to np into q q as i told you it is failure you know probability of failure in one trial the square root so that is uh, you you can calculate the standard deviation by that formula as well one example is that there are four questions in a test each question has got five answers so these are like multiple choice answers each question has got five answers like that there are four questions so what is the probability of guessing three out of four questions so what is the probability if you are if you are totally unsure of any of these answers so if you are blindly picking one of the correct answers out of four out of five choices so what is the probability so you can calculate by plugging into this equation so here you can see that uh, you know uh, what is that all this uh, uh, probability of success is basically 1 out of 5 is the probability of success while the failure is 4 out of 
you know and uh, you know you can you can plug into it and you can see that how much is the exact probability that you're going to calculate you can do that this calculation online pretty simple just have to input all these parameters and you can do that uh, calculation online so you can see that uh, in the online as well so uh, as you can see that the probability is quite low to guess like that kind of uh, situations so binomial distribution comes from nominal scale only two categories success versus failure or dominant versus recessive or male versus female so we have seen this nominal scale in the module number two when we discussed about different uh, scales so in a family of a given size that is n probability of having a male or a female child follows a binomial distribution that is the probability is 0.05 so Hardy Weinberg equilibrium in the population genetics also follows the, the binomial uh, distribution which is nothing but p plus q whole square is equal to p square plus 2pq plus q square. Uh, the p square refers to the frequency of AA capital AA homozygotes. So these are dominant homozygotes while pq means frequency of capital A small a uh, heterozygotes while frequency uh, you know uh, the other one that, that is basically a is basically uh, uh, that is what uh, you know, frequency of a a uh, heterozygote is q so that way you can actually calculate uh, the, this frequencies in the population by using hardy weinberg equilibrium so this is also an example of a binomial uh, distribution so binomial distribution tables are available so that you don't really need to plug into the binomial equation at all because the standard table itself if you know uh, what is p what is q and what is uh, you know r so that is so uh, you know uh, uh, that is also known as r so the number of success you know and p is the probability of success in one trial right so that way if you know all these things just look at the appropriate cell of the table to find uh, which is the exact probability of finding that kind of outcome so just by looking at that uh, table so uh, if you are comfortable with the online i suggest to go on with the online rather than the table coming next distribution is called poison distribution named after the the poison poison is a, a person's name okay they're a famous statistician so discrete probability distribution which applies to occurrence of some event over a specified time or space interval given the average number of times the event occurs uh, over the time period so that is what uh, when the this poison distribution is useful so if there is a average uh, event happening in particular time like for example average uh, uh, per day and you are calculating average over the week or a month or something and these are discrete trials and it need not be binomial or Bernoulli you know and the outcome is not not merely restricted to just two success or failure it can be many so in that case it is a poison distribution is useful and confidence interval of the poison distribution uh, you know uh, with a 1.96 in the formula we we knew that how to calculate in uh, uh, you know uh, using that formula in uh, uh, m 11 s2 the module number 11 uh, of that we learned uh, you know the, the, the to calculate the confidence interval of the poison distribution so poison distribution applies to the occurrence of some event over a specified time or space interval so that is one characteristic to see that is it really poison distribution or a binomial so in the case of binomial there is no time or space interval uh, given in that that kind of pro problems so what is uh, the formula for the poison distribution that is p of x is equal to e power minus mu multiplied by mu power x divided by x factorial so this is uh, uh, not too complicated formula e is nothing but euler number that is uh, 2.718 so that constant just plug into other uh, parameters then you can you can calculate the probability by using this equation so poison probability can be calculated from poison random variable x that is uh, the random variable x and the average rate of success alone so if you know these two things then you can calculate uh, the this one uh, the probability of it so it can be an approximation for the binomial distribution with mu is equal to np total number of trials multiplied by p is success in one trial so if n is more than 100 mu is less than you know 10 so in that case the approximation could be sigma is equal to root mu so sigma is standard deviation is root of 
the population mean that is another approximation. So one example is that when studying cesium atoms over 365 days, you know, uh, 100,000 atoms decay to, you know, 977,287 atoms. Find mean number of atoms decaying per day. What is the probability that in any given day, 50 atoms will decay? So the first one is actually, first part of this question is actually uh, very simple to calculate per day. So what is given is for 365 to calculate per day, just divide it with 365. So second part of the question, you just have to put this mean, uh, you know, uh, number uh, per day thing into the equation, the Poisson equation, and you can solve this question. So uh, let us discuss your answers in uh, uh, discussion uh, groups uh, and we can see that uh, uh, what answer is right. So for Poisson distribution, it's a very important probability distribution biology. For example, some examples include, uh, you know, the mutations in the DNA sequences and number of cells that are infected or, uh, you know, the, the uh, number of animal or plants at a specified location. So there are actually there are several things. We have also seen the uh, Luria and Max Delbruck experiment uh, about uh, the variation to see that uh, is it basically uh, you know uh, VNR basically right variance to mean ratio. So to calculate is it poison or not poison. So they calculated that it is not poison. It is not random process. So to infer the results. So poison distribution is very common across uh, you know across the the biology as well as in sciences so binomial versus poison which are both are quite similar because both are discrete distribution what is actually the the differences here if a mean or average probability of an event is happening per unit time or per page or per mile cycle etc is given and you are asked to calculate the probability of n events happening in a given time or number of pages or number of miles uh, cycled then we have to use the Poisson distribution while on the other hand if the exact probability of an event happening is given or implied in the question then you are uh, you know you are asked to calculate the probability of an event happening so in that case then the binomial distribution is uh, often used so these are just uh, simple tactic for problem solving especially uh, in statistics questions so these kind of questions are quite common though the practical utility is not that high because we never know what is the population standard deviation or population mean in uh, inductive sciences. So one such question here is that a typist makes on average two mistakes per page. What is the probability of a particular page having no errors onto it? So you can do this uh, using uh, you know uh, binom uh, this Poisson equation because the average rate is or sometimes called lambda is the errors per page. So we don't have the exact probability. Do we have an exact probability what is happening? No. For something like there is a probability of uh, half that uh, the page contains errors. So probability of one, one by two or that means 0.5. So there is nothing is written on the question. So that, that means that it is basically Poisson distribution has to be used. So the formula is P of x is equal to uh, you know that uh, same poison formula which we described earlier you can plug into it and then you will get uh, what is uh, what is going to be so it's per page you know and how you know if you're if you're calculating for two page or five page then you can you have just have to multiply that uh, that uh, a factor to calculate the average so that is the, the lambda comes in picture so the poison table is also written so all you have to do is that once you calculate you just have to pick up from the the, the poison table uh, this uh, this probability so you can uh, either use the uh, equation or you can use the table to get the exact probability of an event so here the probability is 0 0.15 uh, 1353 is the probability that uh, that is found in the table so that is how to calculate the, the probability rather more useful is the online pro uh, poison calculator all you have to do is to input uh, you know the event average rate and uh, uh, all these uh, you know parameters that are used in the equation so these are just concurrent the two ways the same equation is being implied in this online calculators as well one such calculator is has been linked in the website so another example is that a computer crashes once 
every two days on average. What is the probability that you know of uh, getting two crashes in one week? So you see that so uh, two uh, every two days it crashes once. So average rate is given the lambda is 0 0.5 crashes per day. So per day it's going to be 0 0.5. Then multiplied with the the seven days in a week is going to be 3.5 per week. And x is two. So then the probability just substitute to get the probability is 0.185 is the probability of getting this one. Another, uh, uh, com uh, you know, another example is that components are placed in the boxes of 20. The probability of a component being defective is 0.1. What is the probability of the box containing two defective components? That is another uh, example of this one. ICs are packaged in boxes of 10. The probability of an IC being faulty is 2 percentage. What is the probability of a box containing two faulty ICs? Another example, the mean number of faults in a new house is 8. What is the probability of buying a new house with exactly one fault? So that this kind of problems you can solve it through uh, Poisson equation and Poisson table. Another example is that a box contains a large number of washers. There are twice as many steel washers as brass ones. Four washers are selected at random from the box. What is the probability that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are brass? You can try to solve these problems and uh, let us uh, discuss the answers in the discussion forums. So in summary, binomial distribution gives a discrete probability distribution of obtaining exactly x successes out of Bernoulli trials. This is important distribution in biology, especially for proportions. We can calculate the exact probability, uh, exact binomial probability from three parameters, probability of success in a single trial, number of trials and number of successes in n trials. Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution which applies to occurrence of some event over a specified time or space interval given the average number of times the event occurs over that time period. Poisson probability can be calculated from Poisson random variable x and average rate of success alone. I hope these lectures have been useful to you and uh, I will see you soon uh, and uh, uh, please contribute into the discussions going on, try to solve these uh, questions. Thank you so much for watching.